this is Dr. Hansen. Today's video is not specifically medically related, but it's something a lot of people ought to know and a lot of people don't know. But, you know we talked about the balance of primary care physicians in the private workforce versus uh, primary care physicians who are employed by hospitals. Well, one of the reasons that hospitals aggressively try to employ primary care physicians, of course, is that if a primary care physician, such as myself, is actually employed by a hospital, I'm more likely to funnel patients into the hospital system and use those particular hospital employed specialists. So the hospital employed primary care physician generates a lot of patient flow and income for that particular hospital. So there's no altruistic attempt to assemble PCPs as part of a hospital. It's a method to increase revenue to the hospital. All right, we get that. So um, the second reason that, um, that primary care physicians become employed by hospitals is that actually the hospital gets paid more for a primary care visit if that particular primary care physician is actually employed by the hospital and is seeing patients in that clinic. As compared to a primary care physician who's in their own private practice out on the street, so to speak. So a physician who sees Medicare patients and, uh, and collects money from Medicare, those Medicare patients will, uh, get, will have reimbursement higher to the hospital when they see the hospital-based physician as opposed to if they see the solo doctor. The Trump administration last year had uh, stated through CMS, through Medicare, uh, that a lot of, that this, this is going to have a site neutral payment plan going forward, which meant that Medicare is going to pay a, for an office visit the same amount, whether the office visit is done at a solo practitioner's office or whether it's paid for a practitioner who's actually employed and housed within a hospital setting. Now you may wonder, what's that all about? Well, there's always been a rule that if you were a physician in a hospital-based setting, your amount of income you generated was higher simply because you were in a hospital-based setting. The care was no different. There was nothing different. Um, so that's been changed. Well. Of course, the American Hospital Association filed a lawsuit earlier this year um, ask, having the Trump administration stop that enacting of the site-neutral payment. And a judge, of course, in D.C. agreed with that and ordered the administration to stop that. In other words, ordered that CMS continue to pay more per visit for a hospital-based PCP than an independent PCP. Well, the administration has announced, and uh, uh, Secretary Verma of CMS, that they're going to go with it. They're going forward anyway. So in 2020, the site-neutral payment plan will be in effect. Site-neutral payment simply means that Medicare, if Medicare is going to pay a physician, that that physician will be paid the same amount, whether it's a hospital-based physician or an independent physician, which is only fair. Um, so anyway, we'll keep an eyeball on that. It's just another way to illustrate some of the vagaries of Medicare and, and healthcare system and the fact that healthcare costs are not really substantially elevated. What it is is healthcare charges, um, uh, which, which can be fixed, but we'll see how this goes out. So I just want to let you all know about site neutral payments. And if you hear about that, you know what it is. Okay. Talk to you next time. Bye.